What's up, guys? I'm back today with another Pocket GM 21 video on the channel. And in today's video, we are back with episode number 13 in the beginning of our fourth season on Pocket GM 21. If you guys missed last episode, it'll be it's pretty much a recap video. I had a corruption file issue. Uh, so last episode was kind of a recap of the off season and going over all the changes we ended up making. But we are headed into our fourth season. 89 defense, 75 offense, and 82 overall made the postseason last year afc championship see if we can come back and make it there once again 11 and 6 last year i'm hoping we could finish somewhere in the same kind of ballpark 11 and 6 12 and 5 would be my go-to record i really hope and i really think we can do it with this defense we'll have to see if the offense can kind of hold up to what the defense should be able to produce so we shall see what the team can do. New England's pretty good. 85 overall 87 offense 83 defense gonna be a tough matchup there but quickly, before we get started in today's video, I do just want to let you guys know that all these videos, the past three videos, probably like four or five videos, the most recent videos you've seen, or the most recent career mode videos you've seen, I'm jumbling over my words, have all been pre-recorded from probably weeks in advance. So if new updates or new beta updates have been dropped on the game, uh, which I know they're supposed to come out at some point, if they have dropped, I just want you guys to know these are done on the old beta. Uh, so I do apologize for that, but I had a videos that i needed to get re-recorded these next two months are the absolute most chaotic months uh for me december and january gonna be absolutely chaotic which i'll probably go more in depth on later on in the future but gonna be a chaotic few months not even just the holiday season but with some other stuff i got going on so i had to re record some other videos and get them all pre-recorded for you guys so that is what is going on but let's quickly get started with this episode we're probably going to play through eight or nine games and see what this team can do. Maybe we'll watch a game. We lose our first game 9-6. to six. We outgame them just barely. Pretty similar offenses here. Corey Van Noy throws three interceptions. Wow, Darius Benjamin has a pretty solid day. But three interceptions. Absolutely terrible. Three different players. And we end up forcing one fumble. Not really the game he wanted to have. Trelamar, two for two. Really disappointing. Six points. Three interceptions for Vanoy. Not the way we wanted to see him start off the first game of the year. Moving on to Tennessee. And we do get the victory in this one. 13 to 11. Hold him to 212 yards of offense. Corey Vanoy, another two interceptions. One touchdown. And he has... Five interceptions on the year. Not a good start, but Vaughn is going to be getting going in this one with 111 yards. And our leading receiver is Josh Johnson with 36 yards for the touchdown as well. We move on to our next game. We end up playing uh, Green Bay. This should be a good one. And we shut them out 46 nothing. We needed this bad, this bad game, this bounce back game. 620 yards of offense. Corey Vinoy throws four touchdowns. Now with five touchdowns and five picks on the year. Uh, but... A good a little redemption game for him. A great way to get back in the stat column and into the win column as well as we get our second win in a row. Um, Moody is putting up some big numbers there. 137 yards and two touchdowns. Vaughn with a solid day as well. 65 on the ground. And Darius Benjamin going to lead us again uh, in receiving. Going to be moving on to week number four against the Jets. Another division matchup. And we take the victory 21-6. to Good start in this one. 355. Corey Vinoy, three touchdowns, one pick. Cannot complain about that one. A running game not doing much today. Moody putting up 38 yards and Vaughn with 35. And Josh Thompson going to lead us today with 69 yards. And Darius Benjamin going to catch another receiving touchdown. Four games into the year. Let's check out these stats really quickly. Tra Lamar is going to be injured. He's out four games. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to be needing to pick up a new kicker. Uh, what do we have? Wow. Nothing great. 69 overall for four games. Do we really want to do that? Or should I trade for someone? We're going to go out and we're going to sign this guy. Bring him in. What are his stats? Looking like 68 kick accuracy. Wow. Let's see if we can pick up a little bit, something a little bit better than that. Let's go with this guy. He's got 72 at least. He's got high injury prone, but we're going to run with it. See what we can do. Hasn't played any single game. And uh, we'll actually watch his first game and see what ends up happening. So we move on to Jacksonville. They're three and one on the year, and we get the shutout victory, twenty to nothing. Our second shutout of the year. 
Corey Van Noy goes for three touchdowns, zero interceptions. Really good game for him. Nice bounce back game. Bounce back couple games, honestly. Four game winning streak after those first couple re rough weeks. But we do get the victory. Darius Benjamin going to lead us again. Let's actually see how our kicker did that we did sign. Missed a kick over one and missed an extra point as well. Wonderful, great start for our new kicker. And uh, we have the number one defense, as you guys saw there. And we get a slight, small victory over Detroit. We absolutely outgained them. Corey Vinoy, another three interception game. 35 for 57. Running game really wasn't getting going in this one. 95 yards on the ground. Uh, Joe Carey, Josh Thompson, Darius Benjamin, top three receivers there. And let's see how our kicker did. A little bit of a bounce back game. Still missed a kick and an extra point, but... Kind of an ugly game. Not a pretty game for us. Corey Vinoy, three interceptions. Their guy ends up throwing two picks as well. 69 overall. Must have an injury to their quarterback. But we do get the small little victory in this one. 19 to 16 to bring our winning streak to five games. New England is 5-1 and one too. But look at our points so allowed. 42 points. Absolutely crazy. We're going to be moving on to our next game. And we lose to Buffalo. We get upset. Division matchup, of course, is a tough one. We let up 14 in the fourth for them to come back after scoring after 451 yards of offense. Absolutely terrible. Corey Vanoy, 300 yard day. No touchdowns, no picks. Moody puts up two on the ground. Pretty solid. Can't complain. Kaiser going to be our leading receiver today. Check out some of his stats. Almost as much as his last year totals so far in this one. Three sacks for Smelter as well see here we end up losing this one because of our kicker 0 for 3 on field goals let's get past that one move on to the next one Pagan's also going to be out one week with an injury uh, an ankle sprain when does our new kicker come back because we cannot be dealing with this guy he is having a terrible day you know you're having a bad day when you get negative one fantasy points need I say more wow so far, extra points, 5 for 7. Field goals, 2 for 7. He's got to go. One more game is all we have to deal with. And let's see if we can get through game number 8 of the day. And we do move to 6 and 2. We could be 7 and 1, but I'm content with 6 and 2. We are tied with New England for the lead. Although, we'll have to see how tiebreakers work in this one. Corey Venoy, one touch on one pick. Not a great day. Robert Vaughn, 97 on the ground. Vaughn's having a pretty solid year in 8 games. 428 yards and 5.4 a carry. Moody, how is he doing? 6.6 .6 a carry. Are you kidding me? The running back room, they they heard me talking so much shit, and they came out and balled out so far this year. Absolutely phenomenal start to this one. Kaiser are going to lead us in receiving. Looks like Darius Benjamin is going to have a quiet day. Five reception, 37 yards. How does our kicker do? He makes, misses one extra point, and this is his last chance, and I'm glad we're ready to get him out of here. Their kicker is going to have a rough one. 61 overall, oh my goodness. Anyways, we're going to move on from that one, and that is probably where we're going to end this game. We do have the tiebreaker over New England, so we are in first place. You guys can see our defense is allowing the least amount of points in the entire league. Uh, Pittsburgh's uh, pretty close, but we are averaging the least amount of points, and we have allowed, we have done, had two shutout victories in this one. Absolutely crazy. Really wish we could have won that Buffalo game. Very disappointing. We have two division losses on the season. I'm not sure how we have the tiebreaker of New England, but somehow we do. So we definitely need to close out some of these uh, victories here. We need to win some, we pretty much need to win out in these division games. We really need to beat New England in our next game, in our next matchup. And we play Buffalo as well. So we're going to be seeing that matchup in next episode. They are 8-1. Wow, Buffalo, or Pittsburgh, and Baltimore. 7-1, 8-1, respectively. Pretty crazy there. You guys can check out where everybody else ends up falling. Check out some of the stats on the year. 13 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Not great. Two, three interception games for Corey Venoy. Really, really struggling in some of these games. But we'll have to see if he can turn up here. In the second half of the season. On the ground, like I said, I was talking so badly on our running back room. And they are out there uh, in 12th in the uh, league right now. Phenomenal start for them. Receiving Darius Benjamin, absolutely killing it. Wally, doing pretty good for being the fourth receiver. Joe Carey and Thompson. 
Joe Carey, a little bit of a lackluster year so far, but we're really short into this one. Kaiser having a pretty solid year so far, and our tight ends are honestly just spot failures. Cameron Parsons out here having another phenomenal year. He is having absolutely crazy eight sacks, four forced bumbles, two interceptions, and five TFLs. Absolutely crazy. Pretty good stats here. Wow. Herrera over here, 81 overall with seven sacks on the year. Martin Moore, 90 overall. Third year in the league, five sacks for him as well. Two interceptions for Parsons leading the team. And Tralamar is having a pretty good year, minus the two missed extra points. But we're having a pretty solid year. We're looking really, really good to make a run at this postseason. We'll see what we can do in next episode, see if we can finish some this one out. Really disappointed we lost that one to Buffalo, but we're going to have to make it work. We do have an injury. I just noticed this. To our offensive tackle for four weeks. We're going to be next, definitely needing to pick one up, but we will do that and take care of that in next episode. Wow, we're going to be picking up someone lower overall. But we're going to be taking care of that next episode. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And if you guys have not seen the other episodes, definitely make sure to hit the playlist and check out some of the other Pocket GM 21 playlists and videos on the channel. Hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys are enjoying this series, I appreciate you guys for clicking on the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm jumbling this entire outro, but that is okay. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.